right here with Ching is here at the Headbangers Boxing Gym in DC. Ching is, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Now you're from Kazakhstan, correct? Yeah, I am from Kazakhstan, from from the same uh, city where it's Triple G. G from. Yeah. This. How long you been here, at Headbangers? I I've been here for one year. Where? So I, I started uh, to working out in this gym, like about like since since the last spring, like uh -huh. since the March time. Uh huh. So, so from that time I I working out here in this. So. Are you, you amateur Chinese? Or you yeah, play? I'm still amateur. So my goal to turn the pro and after, 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 after New Year, like okay. that's my goal. Okay, what weight class are you in? I, I fight to 152. Okay, so you're almost in the same weight class, Triple G. <laughs> yeah. No, no, he 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 definitely bigger than me. He, cause yeah. he you he, start he, with 11. He he, 11? he he fight uh, on 160. Yeah. Yeah. So you're about eight pounds apart. Yeah, yeah, so but uh, like that, the pro and the amateur is a difference. So when I will turn the pro, I will lose the weight more down to 147 or maybe 141. It depends, like how our team will decide to work yeah. with me. How old are you? I'm 22. 20. Okay, you still young. So, um, what do you think of Triple G? He's a great fighter. I'm very proud of him because like. He, we from same like a gym, but he doesn't know me because I was very young. I'm like a, probably I was like a kid. Yeah. Because like he older me te ten years. He's 31, 32. He's 32. Okay. He's like ex exactly older me ten years. So like every, every time I watching him, like it's all my friends, so we are like everybody proud of him. Uh huh. So what do you think about Triple G's last performance against uh, Antonio Rubio? Uh, it was a uh, good fight uh, for Triple G because he like he proved himself that he's a very good puncher. Yeah. First, but uh, yeah, Rubio was a big puncher too, but he knocked Rubio out in the second round. Yeah, it, it did, but like he, uh, Triple G did what he's supposed to do, the, but the, the Rubio could continue the yeah, fight. Yeah. That my opinion is that he could continue the fight because he like to be honest, but it's my mind he. He was a little bit scared. Uh -huh. He was a little bit scared. That's why, like, he didn't want to. He had the time to like treat himself in the stand up and the back to fight again. Yeah. But he didn't. Yeah. But anyway, like, it, it doesn't make uh, like a triple G's a victory worse than what he has now. Yeah. But anyway, he did what he's supposed to do. Yeah. So he's uh, like he got like 97 percent of all knockouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Can you box as good as Triple G? Or do you have the power like Triple G? No, I don't. I, I definitely I don't. No power? No. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm supposed to flex myself too much and uh, to, like to do more weights so to have like the same the power. So. Yeah. So they're different levels. So I will be like as uh, the Kostiju said. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you know the Kostiju from yeah, the Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, once he said like I am ready, but not now. In the future I will be ready. Yeah. So that I, that's why I wanted to say. So yeah. I will be ready. Yep. Uh, anything else you want uh, fans to know? Uh, I'm very proud of myself that I work out with this like very great gym. Like at, uh, thanks uh, for the uh, to coach's team for Barry Hunter. He gives like a, a lot of information. So, like I feel myself that I'm getting more experience. Like a very uh, thanks uh, for for Boogie, for Patrick Harris for yeah. his meek work. So uh, he. He work when he work now with me on the beats. He little bit different on the with the style which I used to teach in. I mean, which I used to study in Kazakhstan. Yeah. So it's much different. So like I little bit have mistakes in the inside. So what they trying to figure out with me to uh, learn by heart how to box in like in American style. Yeah. So what's the difference between American style fighters and fighters in uh, Kazakhstan? Uh, here, people they like the I mean the boxers they focused on a professional boxing, so like they don't so they don't stay a long time on, on the amateur ring. They like from after one two Olympic games they turn pro. Yeah. So they, even they don't go to Olympic games they go to pro fights. So that's. Uh, like a uh, big difference because our like uh, one of the most goals is the uh, Olympic Games is uh, like one, one of the most popular like uh, goals in your life just uh -huh. like uh, go to Olympic Games and that's why our like goals when we box each other just uh, try to touch like uh, on the points yeah 
like in and out, yeah, yeah. and that's it. It's like uh, like runners for short distance and long distance. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yes. Are you at any social media sites where people can find you at? Mm. You have any social media like Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, I, I have like a page in Facebook, but I don't use it a lot. Like, so oh, I, I usually use the VK, uh, the contact is like a similar like a Russian, uh, like a Russian Facebook. Oh, got you. No Twitter, no Instagram. Yeah, I do Instagram. I have a Instagram. What's your Instagram? It's uh, Chingis.1992. Uh, All right. Do you have it with Chingis?